It's being called a mammoth find in an otherwise overlooked yet famous American fossil pit. It's something that we weren't expecting, and this could possibly yield new species that we haven't seen before from the uh, previous excavations. Researchers at the Page Museum and the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles have struck paleontology gold again. This is LA's history, not the movies, not the movie stars, this is our history. Um, this can tell us what the climate was like, how these animals adapted to the climate or did not adapt to the climate. They've discovered another cache of bones, anywhere from 10 to 40,000 years old. It actually happened in 2006 during excavations for a parking lot. When workers hit pay dirt with the bones, the museum harvested the deposits. They're now all contained in these tree boxes. Collectors have been sifting through them since last summer. This is uh, the pelvis of our new Colombian mammoth that was discovered fairly recently. And Among the biggest finds, a nearly intact mammoth skeleton. Um, this is really exciting for us. We're able to, to tell a lot about his lifestyle um, and a, lo a lot about Colombian mammoths in Southern California at the end of the last ice age. Unique because the other mammoth on display at the museum is actually made up of several different specimens. They've also found remains of dire wolves, sloths, bison, and saber-toothed cats, all relics from the Ice Age. We are like a reference library for the Pleistocene. We have, I would say, approximately three and a half million specimens in our collection currently. And the new project with the 23 crates that you saw outside and this mammoth, um, it's probably estimated to double that collection likely millions of new bones to bolster a collection that's been known to us humans only since 1906. John Moan, the Associated Press, Los Angeles.